The classical therapy of Parkinson's disease is substitution of the dopamine deficit by its precursor L-DOPA. We have developed a new therapeutic concept. The stimulation of the endogenous L-DOPA biosynthesis in the brain of Parkinsonian patients by NADH. Its beneficial clinical effect is demonstrated on three cases. We want to show you what these new medications by their disease can do. Say the word electricity. Electricity. Artillery. Artillery. Yeah. And now they throw them with their hands forward. This patient is a 52-year-old biochemist working in an analytical laboratory. He suffers from Parkinson's disease since four years and was treated with Madopa, the classical medication. In spite of this therapy, his disability deteriorated and could not be improved even with higher dosages of Madopa or other additives. The patient has difficulties in getting up from his seat and in walking. He moves forward in small, tripping steps. One hour after infusion of 25 milligrams of NADH, the patient's disability improved considerably. The mimic was more animated, the pushing and jumping ability was incomparably better to that before the NADH treatment. His walking was remarkably improved. The left screen shows his walking before, the right screen one hour after NADH treatment. How NADH acts biochemically may be explained on the simplified scheme of L-DOPA biosynthesis. The rate-limiting enzyme for this process is the tyrosine hydroxylase, an iron protein with H4 biopterin as coenzyme. H4 biopterin is formed from H2 pterin under the action of NADH. Parkinsonian patients do have a deficit of H4 biopterin in their brain. According to this metabolic pathway, NADH increases the amount of H4 biopterin available in Parkinsonian patients, leading to an increase in L-DOPA biosynthesis and due to this to an improvement of their motoric disability. This patient is a 70-year-old farmer who recognized first symptoms of Parkinson disease six years ago. He did not receive any medication before he was submitted to our hospital. His disability before NADH medication was 80%. He was unable to use fork and knife and had problems in getting up from a chair. His walking ability was typical for Parkinsonian patients. Short, slow, tripping steps. Two hours after application of NADH, the patient could walk almost normally and his ability was comparable to that of an age-matched healthy senior. This 58-year-old patient was totally unable to get up from his seat. His speech was nearly ununderstandable and his pushing ability was considerably reduced. Four hours after intravenous administration of 50 milligrams of NADH, the patient can get up from his seat without help. His ability to walk is remarkable because he was unable to do so before the NADH medication. 
He could even jump. Meanwhile, 35 patients have been treated with NADH. All patients improved clinically. The disability score decreased by 20 up to 55%. In addition, a prolongation of the daily on phases by 6 to 10 hours has been observed in these patients. <laughs> 